Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. My beard is a mess. My mask has been pressing against it. Um, wow, what a day. So I've rented a car. It's a little Mitsubishi uh, something. I don't know cars at all. Um, I like it. It's been really handy. Uh, I rented a car for two days to be able to go up to Ikea yesterday to do some reconnaissance work. Um, I ended up buying a plant yesterday. Uh, but it was just nice to drive. I went and had, uh, you know, picked up some food. It was really nice. Uh, and then today I got an early, early start and I went out to Ikea and I just left Home Depot. I spent hours in both locations. Uh, I also went to the Antique, Antique Mall of America, which is going to be a habit of mine. I have a suspicion. Um, I just, I wanted to just, you know, browse around, take a peek. I'd heard about it. And I uh, picked up uh, a couple of things. I'll show you those at some point in the near future. Um, I'll show you like a separate haul video for the antique Mall of America thing. But here is my little chariot. It's a little, I don't even know what it, what it is. Maybe maybe one of you know what that car is. It's a, it's a Mitsubishi. But it is stuffed to the max. I'll tell you, I don't think I could fit anything else in here. Well, maybe. But uh, I got a carpet, an airy rug here, uh, a kitchen table, my dining table here, lots of painting supplies pushed into the corners. Um, there's a uh, ladder, a big giant ladder in there. The car is stuffed. A ladder, Stephen? What do you need a ladder for? Well, Stephen measured the ceilings. <laughs> Stephen. I measured the ceilings in the living room. They're 17 feet high. In my mind, I thought they were like 30 feet high. 17 feet is only like two and a half of me. I think I can do that safely, uh, mindfully. So I bought myself a ladder, um, the paint, I got Marquee, which is like a one coat paint. I bought primer, all sorts of brushes and stuff. So I figured with the money I spent on just the ladder and the paint, I would be saving a ton of money from hiring a painter to do what I really know I can do. I know I can do this. So, uh, so I'm going to go, uh, get something to eat because I've eaten two hot dogs from Ikea all day long. And it is now, uh, almost six o'clock in the afternoon. So I have to eat something. Then I'm going to go drop this stuff off in the house. Uh, then, um, the electricity should be turned on. Um, it was turned off yesterday, but I had to call the electric company and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I, on that, um, I'm keeping my apartment until the end of February. The electricity there should be on until the 26th and the electricity should be on now in the new place. So, um, that was something I didn't know I could do. I didn't know you could have electricity in two different locations. <laughs> I know I'm pathetic. I don't know anything about owning a house. But, um, all right, so I'm going to go uh, eat something, drop this stuff off, go back, give my cats some cat treats, and that's it. I think that's it for now. So um, I will see you guys later. Who's that? Who's that? Hi, my pretty girl in my dirty windows. Hi, sweetheart. Is that Claire? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi girls. Oh, so I just got back from Marshall's. I went to uh, pick up the table I mentioned earlier. I'm not going to show it to you until I sort of unveil a few things at a time. I don't think you want to see like one table at a time, right? So um, I'll show that to you at some point when I do some sort of unveiling uh, in the process. So that is... Um, in my apartment right now, the table, I took a lac table. I, I hope to never own another Ikea lac table in my life. I put that next to the dumpster. So um, I have one last thing to take with me. Actually, it's the same thing. All right, so no one's in the leasing office. Someone was there earlier. Um, came back, I got the form to bring it down to them. And of course, they're not there, the door's locked. One more time. They're never there. Um, so I went to get breakfast. I got an egg, egg, ham, and cheese sandwich. 
Then I walked over to Marshall's. I got the table, which I then brought home. Checked down the office, still closed. Uh, so I slid the, uh, the form under the door. <laughs> I just want to make sure that they get it, you know. I don't want them to say, well, you didn't give us enough time, blah, blah, blah. So um, I slipped the, the form under the door to uh, my intent on leaving this hole. And uh, so the table is now in my house, in my apartment, I should say. I took one of the LAC tables I had. I hope to never have a LAC table again from Ikea, um, unless it's going to be part of a, 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 a DIY project for the cats, you know. Uh, so I threw one of the LAC tables I had next to the dumpster. Uh, one in, one out, right? So when I move, I don't want to be moving a whole bunch of stuff I'm not going to keep. So um, now I'm going to pack a bag full of some snacks and some beverages. Then I'm going to go over to my home and uh, start setting up to start painting because my goal is in the next three or four days to be done painting the living room. Did I tell you I was painting the living room? I don't know. I figured I'd save the money on a painter since my ceilings are like, they're 17 feet high. They're not as high as I thought they were. I can do that. Um, so I'm going to save money on hiring a painter and just do it myself, then I can apply that money towards furniture and stuff, right? So, and less credit card debt and pay like cash. Yeah. All right. So I will see you guys later. Hey guys, how are you? So I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. So nice. Um, so today I just took an Uber over here rather than taking the bus because uh, I had a big uh, box I figured I'd take with me that was very heavy, too heavy for the, the bus. Uh, you know, I just heard a noise. It was my ice maker making ice. How exciting is that? I've never had an ice maker. I've never had a dishwasher. I've never had a refrigerator with a, an ice maker or a water dispenser. <gasps> How exotic. Um, so <laughs> my goal today, immediate goal, is to go around the house and uh, pull out uh, nails, unscrew screws from the wall. There's a lot of screws and nails in, the, in very strange places. Um, so I'm going to pull those, fill the holes with some spackle that's quick drying. It takes about a half hour to dry. That gives me time to run over to a convenience store and pick up some more snacks. I didn't have enough. And, uh, then I'm going to set up my, um, ladder and, uh, start priming the walls. So let me show you just, it's, it's clearly not done. Nothing is done, but I brought some stuff into the house. So I'll, I'll give you a quick peek. This way you'll get to see the place completely from absolute beginning bare bones to whatever happens, happens. So yes, yes, I did buy two palm trees. This is an empire palm, I think it's called. And this one's called a parlor palm. It has a different name, but it's called a parlor palm. They're very different palms. This one's going to grow very tall, hopefully. This one will not grow very tall, but it will grow wide. And uh, they're both non-toxic to animals and pets. So there are some of the very few houseplants I can have that are of any size that the cats can chew on. Actually, Buddy chews on, I have a small one of these in my house, not my apartment now, and Buddy chews on it like he chews on cat grass or something. So he'll be happy with that. So I've got two big palms. I have no idea what, where they're gonna go. Uh, you know, that chair was there when I moved in. Uh, paint, primer, cabinet paint, painting supplies, painting supplies. Did I point out that the last owners left the um, hardware for the uh, fireplace? I'm so pleased. Now I have to find a basket or something to hold wood because I do want to burn a fire in there. Uh, one of the multiple cat trees I bought, there are some boxes. My dining table is there. Oh, look at this. Look, 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 look. I went to Marshall's last night and I got this. Look at that. It's a pillow. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Casa del Steven or Esteban estimated, uh, established 2021. All right, so that's the uh, beginning. Come along with me on the journey to see how it ends. 
this is going to be a journey. This is going to be a journey. So I just figured out how to use my ladder. Yeah. Uh, there is my ladder. <laughs> so it looks like I can easily get up there and paint. So no issues, no problems. I just had to read the manual and figure out how to unlock these things and then secure these things so they don't go flying. In. in fact, I want to go, I want to take this down and re-secure that because that doesn't look very locked. All right, ladder is secured. Ladder is locked. I know how to use it. I climbed up and down it twice just to kind of get past my initial anxiety. And then I realized if I get through this, I probably should start filling nail holes before I start painting, right? All right, let's go. I know it doesn't look like I did a lot. <laughs> I just did that one little spot right there. But I feel very excited because <sighs> I was really afraid to go up there. <laughs> I was really afraid. It didn't feel very sturdy. It really is. I got a ladder that like holds 375 pounds. I got like a really good ladder. Uh, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> I did about mm, one square foot of painting, but um, I got up there, I did it. And you know, once you get up at the top of the ladder, it's kind of like when you're flying on the airplane, you're like you're kind of afraid of heights, but once you're up there, it doesn't feel like you're that high, you know? So it's good. All right, so now I'm gonna move the ladder over a little bit so I don't have to stretch with my left arm. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's gonna be a lot of moving a ladder is really what this is gonna be about. I can do that. All right, so I have learned that I am by no means Spider-Man, but I am, I wouldn't say carefree about climbing this very tall ladder, that one, uh, but I think I've, I've gotten quite used to it. So I'm not even sure if I'm doing what I should be doing because I don't know what I'm doing. I probably should have hired somebody. Uh, but uh, so I what I did was paint all the corners there and around. Um, so that I can then use a roller and go ahead and just try and get most of this knocked out. Uh, Cause I don't think the roller could actually get into the corner. So I figured that would be a smart way to start. If I were, you know, approaching this as a makeup artist, I would, I would probably do this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, I'm going to have a snack and then uh, start rolling. All right. Okay. So hi. If there's anything I can do, it is to admit when something is beyond my ability. Uh, and this is beyond my ability. I really thought I could do this. I really thought I could. And I'm very proud of myself for actually having climbed that ladder. <laughs> that ladder. It's so high. My ceilings are like 17, 18 feet high. Um, and I, you know, I, I, primed around the edges thinking thinking that would be helpful making my rolling easier well i got to um the top of this ladder with a tray loaded with paint and my roller now climbing this ladder with a tray in hand and the roller i would like hook on a stair uh, a rung move up grab it move it up and hang it on a rung ahead of me you know just um, yeah, that in itself was a challenge. And then actually trying to, uh, put paint on the roller while it was up there. And then it, yeah, it was not going to work. I was going to die. I was going to die. You know, I have a, a thought just crossed my mind right now in reading your comments. Cause you know, I read, I read all of your comments. Many of you actually watch me on your TV. <laughs> And I can only imagine what some of you must go through. My giant head on a huge TV screen. How unfortunate. But, um, hi there. So, yeah, this is just, it's not going to work. I'm going to kill myself. I really will. This is on, I am, it's beyond my ability. But I'm very proud of myself for making the effort. 
uh, and facing my fear, because when I got to the top of that ladder the first time, I was a little freaked. Um, so what, what did I do? What am I going to do? I had gotten some uh, paint samples or paint chips from a Benjamin Moore dealer like two or three weeks ago. Uh, I had taken two buses to get out there and two buses. To, it was just it was just a long process to get paint chips. Well, I'm not going with Benjamin Moore. I went with uh, Bear Marquee. It's like Bear's version of whatever. So um, I did get out there. And while I didn't buy the paint from... Did I get paint on my head? I got paint on my head. While I didn't get paint out there, I did ask for some phone numbers for painters just in case. I called, They gave me three of them. I called the first guy and he uh, didn't answer the phone. I left a message. I called the second guy and he said, hey, thanks for calling, but I really can't get, take any more work right now. And then I called the third guy and angels sing from the heavens, whatever. This guy was amazing. He was so funny. We just had like immediate rapport on the phone. Just, just really, really a lot of fun. Uh, I told him what I had tried to do and he laughed and I said, this isn't, this isn't what I can do. If you, I'm a flight attendant. I said, you know, if, if you're going to have a heart attack at 37,000 feet, I know what to do. But when it comes to painting a 17 foot tall ceiling, maybe not. And so he laughed and, and we just had a good time. And so I sent him some texts with photos of the walls and what I need to be done. And he was very very uh, detailed in terms of what would be painted. For example, this area right between the carpet, that's the loft up there. That area had to be painted. He wants us to know if the baseboards be painted. I said, I can take care of the baseboards. Like I can do edge work, you know? Um, and uh, so he was just really, really um, great. So he, I sent him the pictures. Uh, he called back and he uh, said to give me a quote. He said, if I could get people out there tomorrow um, uh, and the work that you want us to do, you supply the paint and the primer, we'll supply the tools and the labor and get the work done. He said, if we can get there tomorrow morning, it might take us two days. He said it would be about 900. Well, he said it would be $900. He didn't say about, he said it would be $900. And I went, great, perfect, all set, done, yours, I'm your, and he's like, it'll be $1,200. <laughs> <laughs> and we both laughed. Um, and he says, you know, he says, uh, I, I don't know the last time that anyone just accepted the prices that we, we asked for. And I said, you know, I'm an artist. And when I work with clay, and if I make a teapot that's going to cost $250, there's a reason that cost $250 because it took me years and years and years of learning how to make that teapot and then dry that teapot, and then glazing the teapot, and then firing it, and then firing it again, if it needs to be. So the amount of work and the process and the learning and the knowledge is what you're paying for. And he's like, we're all set, <laughs> you know? So he just really appreciated the fact that I, I valued the work that's gonna be done. And so I think for $900, which will either go on a credit card, or I have some money left over, because. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think this is definitely worth, um, painting. Uh, so he's going to paint, they're going to paint the living room and the kitchen. I'll paint the bathroom down the road. Um, it's a pale yellow. I can survive with that for a while. So I want the living room painted, the little foyer painted, foyer, uh, the kitchen painted and, uh, God. And so, whew, yeah. That was a fail. That was an epic fail. Again, I have to say I'm proud of myself for doing this. Um, a silver lining, there is a silver lining here, uh, is that um, I did buy this ladder. And this ladder, um, one, uh, I had received a gift card from Home Depot, which definitely helped in this purchase. But this ladder was $239, $240, something like that. Um, and I will find lots of use for this ladder. Um, apparently there is a ladder in the development somewhere that the association owns, but no one really knows where it is apparently. Uh, but I, I have paint all over my cell phone case, uh, but 
there are there's a nail up there I'm not sure if you can see it but I'm gonna be hanging a piece of artwork up there somewhere I want to hang artwork from there up there and probably something over there um, I would like to hang something on that wall as well which is that one uh, and so there's definitely a need for a ladder that can get me up that high so I feel very happy with the fact that I own that ladder now. It'll be in my garage and I can possibly help a neighbor if they need a big, you know, a big ladder. Um, so it's not all for naught, um, but I am feeling a little relieved that I, I called the professionals. I have, I know I keep talking. I have um, two gallons of primer. I have two gallons of the bare uh, paint that they say is one coat coverage. It's guaranteed. They say it's guaranteed one coat coverage. Uh, so I called the guy, the text, I texted the, the guy, I don't even know his name, uh, and asked if I should get more paint or primer. And he said, no, uh, let's see what happens for tomorrow because the paint is supposed to cover what with one coat, but you saw the colors on my wall, right? That would be really ambitious if that paint were really to cover in one coat but all right so um i think i will hold on to this footage that i'm filming right now uh until maybe tomorrow and i'll show you maybe what the professionals do uh and not what i did all right so i will see you tomorrow uh eight o'clock in the morning <sighs> i'm glad eight in the morning is good it's a nice early start and these guys, I can already tell, I already have confidence. I already have confidence uh, in this, this guy. He was really, really great on the phone. So decisive, really felt full of humor. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I feel like I haven't gotten anything done. I still have been here for like four hours. Uh, but, you know, I figured out what I can't do, and that's... That's something, right? <laughs> I hired the right people. That's something. Uh, something that was kind of bothering me since the minute I walked in here, or the first time I looked at this place, one thing really bothered me was a stupid shelf that was on the kitchen counter. Now, it's no longer there anymore, but boy, oh boy, it was a hassle to get off. It had like 18 screws holding it in. But if you go back to my last video where I gave you a tour of the house, uh, or the first time you saw the house, when you walked towards the kitchen, let's see, there was a shelf. This thing was hanging off the front right here. Uh, and I really don't understand why it was there. I can't imagine any practical reason for it, but um, it was uh, it was there. It's this big fake wood laminate shelf. Uh, it was like, I don't know, eight screws. I had to take the drawers out to get to the screws. It was a real hassle, but um, I think it looks, already looks better with that, that dumb shelf there. Uh, and it certainly makes the flow walking through this area a lot more, uh, a lot makes a lot more sense. So uh, I figured I would remove it now in anticipation of the painters coming over so they could paint like, you know, little areas like that. I'm very proud of myself right now. I just figured out how to turn that light on. <laughs> Uh, I've never had a garage door opener. Um, so while I was painting, I'm going to get something to eat and then I'm going to go to um, Home Depot for stuff for my cabinets. Uh, but um, while I was up on the ladder, I saw earlier, I saw a neighbor walking by my window with intent clearly to aiming towards my front door. So I came down and it turns out that it's my the neighbor right behind me. He's right behind me. And um, he introduced himself as um, Danny, Danny, older guy. And uh, I'm going to guess late 60s. He is my neighbor. He is also on the board of the Homeowners Association, which he told me. He actually has a business card for his work on the, the Homeowners Association. So uh, I, he just wanted to introduce himself. And it was very nice to meet him. And, uh, and he was filling me in sort of on the neighborhood and the homeowners association and blah, blah, blah. And, um, I, you know, and, and um, he was just pointing out some of the basic general rules and, and tenets of the association. And I said, I am so glad we met 
because as a flight attendant, I'm a flight attendant, I said, um, as a flight attendant, I am a big fan of rules. I love knowing what the rules are, why they're there, and I'm a rule follower. And uh, that was just what he wanted to hear, <laughs> which is why I said it, of course, because I knew better. But um, yeah, so I've met a few of my neighbors already. They're all very friendly. And uh, did I tell you about my immediate next door neighbor? I don't know if I did. Um, my immediate neighbor on my left hand side is uh, Step Brothers with one of my favorite coworkers. Isn't that crazy? It's such a small world. I don't know if I told you that yet, but if I did already, I'm sorry. Um, all right, so I'm going to get something to eat because so far I've eaten two cinnamon rolls. Again, not the best. Um, and there is a panda next door, so I think I'm going to run over there. <laughs> They're going to see me fairly often, I think. Uh, there's also a subway, uh, but uh, that panda looks good right now. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Hi. It is uh, February 2nd. It's about 10 minutes to 8 in the morning. I'm waiting for the painters to show up. I'm very excited to have these guys come in and rescue me. Um, but uh, I got here a little bit early this morning to make sure that all the nail holes were um, filled and everything. All the screws were taken out. I did see, I do see one more screw I forgot to take out. Strange placement. See the little black dot right there in the middle of the screen? They they were really fond of screws. Like, why would you put a screw right there of all places? But whatever. Um, so I got here early. Um, I had to take that one screw out. The um, nail hole filler I got uh, dries in like 15 minutes. So I can take that out and have it uh, ready to paint before they actually get to painting that area, I believe, if I stop chatting with you guys. But um, yeah, just hanging here, relaxing in my house, planning on what to do with my kitchen. And um, I'm drinking some um, apple juice berry combination from Ikea. That's kind of, but in this, how cool is this glass? How cool is this? Yeah, I got these, I got a set of six of these at the antique market uh, and uh, I'll have to bring you guys with me sometime. Oh my God, but look how cute these are. The woman that's, these, the wicker things come off uh, their little sleeves. But um, the woman who I was talking with, I was telling her how I was buying a house and uh, blah, blah, blah. And uh, she, I was in love with these and she's like, oh, let me make this a housewarming gift. And she sold all six of them to me for uh, $32, something like that. Um, I've never paid $30 for six glasses, but hello, how cute are these? But uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna eat a, a little cinnamon roll from Ikea and then uh, hopefully the painters show up soon and we get to work. All right, I'll see you later. All right. Hey guys, how are you? So it is uh, 4.04 and 4 seconds on February 2nd. And uh, you can see the place is taking shape in terms of color. Um, as you know, uh, I discover that I am not an interior painter. So, um, a very nice guy came over today, uh, got a lot of work done, and it turns out I was doing the right thing by doing the corners first. So, like, I was on the way. I was doing the right thing. It just it wasn't for me. Uh, so, a uh, guy came over uh, at about just, just past 8 o'clock in the morning. He just left. No eating, no drinking. I think he had a cup of coffee or something. That's it. Uh, I offered a number of times to go get lunch or something to drink, and he, he politely declined each time. Uh, but he got all the priming done, as you can see. Priming is done. Um, and it just looks so much better already. Look at the light. Isn't that nice? 
Uh, for curtains, um, we are going to put the rod back up. It's on top of the shears, the, the little thing there. Uh, I am going to put the, sh the curtain rod back up there. I'm going to paint it, though, um, at some point because I j it's just a rotten, ugly brown. Uh, and then I'm going to get white shears, I think, just hanging them from the sides, the very, very, very sides. I don't want curtains across the windows. Um, I love this light. And uh, even though in the summertime it will be very warm and I'm going to spend more money than I want to on uh, air conditioning, I just really like the light. And I think the cats will really enjoy being able to look outside at the busy street and the people walking by and all that stuff. So this is good. Uh, also, he did uh, the kitchen. He painted the kitchen walls white, and I think this already looks better. I am going to do the cabinets white myself at some point. It's going to be a long project, uh, and I will do it bits and pieces at a time. So I'm going to paint the cabinets white and that wood trim around the light fixture white as well. Um, the walls are nice and white. Uh, there's a stainless steel rack that goes up in the middle here um yeah yeah so it's a good start i'm very very pleased uh and um i'm very pleased that at the the price i know people because i told you it's 900 dollars <laughs> for the work that's being done i am very happy with that and if, if i'm being taken for a ride here don't let me know just let me be ignorant about it, okay? Um, I'm fine paying that much money for this work because uh, this would have taken me two weeks uh, and I would have potentially died doing it. So uh, I'm quite, quite, quite happy uh, with the work's done. And uh, he should be done tomorrow afternoon. He'll be in at 9 a.m. and he suspects he'll be done by about 2. Um, so, yay! All right, so I'm going to eat something. I've had a couple cinnamon rolls. I had a Subway sandwich earlier today, but I'm getting kind of hungry and I'm wicked tired, although I didn't do anything today except for unpack a few boxes. And this is getting kind of chaotic. Look at this. What a mess, right? But look at this light. I shouldn't be showing you things. I didn't want to show you anything, but look at this lamp. Look at this little lamp. Isn't that cute? And look at it. It works so nicely with the lighting fixtures. Uh, so I'm very pleased. This is the, these are the globes that go on the lights. And I think this is a great match with that lamp. Um, so little excitement, lots of little things to get excited about. Hey guys, how are ya? Good morning. It is February 3rd, 8.53 in the morning, and here I am in the mirror as well. Um, so it is a beautiful day. It's going to be 71 degrees. Very exciting. So I'll leave the, the door and the garage door open so there's some nice air going through here. Uh, the painter is due to be here shortly to finish up the work. You can see the priming has done, and he did one uh, coat of my regular paint. Uh, around the edges. Uh, so one thing that uh, the owner of the company included in my quote was baseboards. And um, I just realized that the painter has not done the baseboards and I don't think he was planning on doing them, but I'm kind of glad he's not. And this is them. So they're, they're just wood, which is fine. I had wanted them painted white as the rest of the place is gonna be white. But the fact that they match the mantle, actually might just leave them unpainted. Uh, so I'm kind of happy about that. Um, I'll talk to the owner and see if he'll adjust the price at all. I mean, it's just baseboards in one small room, so it's not gonna be like a huge price difference. Um, but I'll tell you one thing I am, let me rest my hand against the mantle. One thing I am super impressed with, with this young man, is that when he painted the kitchen, he pulled, and maybe he's supposed to, I don't know, I wouldn't have done it. He pulled out the refrigerator and the stove, and he primed behind them and painted behind both appliances. Who does that? Um, I would have painted until you couldn't see the wall. You know, I would have painted around the appliance. He painted, he pulled both appliances out by himself 
and the refrigerator is huge. And uh, he painted behind both appliances. I was very impressed, which is why I'm kind of surprised he didn't paint the baseboards. But like I said, I'm quite fine with the baseboards matching the mantle. And there's going to be a fair amount of wood in the living room anyway. So I'm fine with the, the uh, baseboards being uh, wood. Um, let's see. I uh, added a plant to my little repertoire. I'm sure you care, but it's a, a little plant called a peperomia, tricolor peperomia. It's uh, one of the very few house plants that you can have that aren't toxic to cats. Who knew? So I found a small peperomia. I got my two palm trees, which are also non-toxic to my cats. So. Those are my house plants. I have a spider plant and some babies growing that I want to add as well. I love plants. I really do. And I think with the space, I think they'll do well. All right. So what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, totally off topic. Not that I ever have a really, not that I ever stick to a topic, right? Um, I was reading the comments as I always do in my videos. And um, someone recently, Denise, I think, just watched a video I, I posted two and a half, almost three years ago, where I was in the backyard in the house in Atlanta. And I had, I think I was expressing all of this gratitude and humility and for having 77, 80 subscribers. And I was like really getting choked up, really emotional that I had like 77 subscribers at the time. And it's just sort of funny to, to look back um, it's been three years. It's not like my channel's grown meteorically, you know, uh, but it's it's grown significantly, right, since then. But it's just so funny to see myself in the backyard of that house getting all, like, all choked up that, like, a full 80 people subscribe and somebody's listening to me. And, and here we are, you and me, listening to me talk about a house plant, right? Who are we people, right? All right, so I'm going to wait for the uh, painter, eat my sandwich, and I will follow up with you later on today. All right, so I got my bag back. Very exciting. Then I went to Bank of America because to pay the balance uh, for the painting, I have cash. And uh, Michael, the owner of the painting company, would accept cash. That's fine. But I don't like giving it to, like, a worker. I'd rather give it to him, you know, but... Uh, it's like 450 in cash. Uh, so I stopped at the bank to see if they could get me like a cashier's check or something. Since I have repacked my checks, I have no idea where they are. Uh, and the last time I went to look for a check, ooh, not fun. Um, so I went and stood in line waiting for Bank of America. One teller. They wanted to charge $15 for a cashier's check. $15. I'm like, but I bank here. Yeah, it's a $15 charge. <sighs> so cash it is. <laughs> All right, guys, here's a moment of truth. Well, first there's the uh, plates for the outlets. I have to spray them one more time because they still look beige, but I got some white spray paint. And here's the moment of truth. Ta-da! Doesn't this look great it's so much better hello oh my goodness i'm so happy <sighs> this was so worth it oh i didn't tell you i got a check i got uh my first piece of mail in my new mailbox and uh it was a check from the title company for 170 dollars i guess I either overpaid my, I don't know what happened, but I got $170, which I'm kind of psychologically putting it towards painting. So to make the painting feel a little less like, you know, uh, <laughs> expensive and luxurious. But wait, I have to show you from upstairs. One sec. All right. All right. I still, I think I'm going to keep this wire. I don't love it, but I think it's a good solution. I'm gonna replace those shears, those curtains that were here and push them to the side, which I think will look good from downstairs, but it would also be a great way to um, 
keep this place, the loft area dim if I want to watch TV or something. But look at how much better this looks. Isn't that great? I know it's just white. <laughs> oh, but I've been I've been dreaming about this. Look at it. Look at it. It's so good. So happy, so happy. Uh, and I, um, I rented a car from Fox Car Rental. Did I tell you how much it cost? It was $27 a day. I didn't get insurance because I'm a safe driver. And everyone says that insurance is a racket. But um, So I have to go to Ikea and hope that I can find tables for my chair. Um, I almost bought two chairs at an antique store uh, that was right near, <laughs> I can't stay away from that antique store. Uh, it's, uh, an antique mall that's almost next door to the Fox car rental place. So I just walked in just to walk around and see things. And there, there were these two mid-century chairs that were really cool. They were white, um, but the metal was all chrome which pretty much everything else in my kit, my house is like a gold tone or a brass finish. And uh, they were white with red cushions. And I thought that the red would be a little jarring compared to what I really want for this place. So everything here hopefully will be white, wood, black, and kind of brass um, with the occasional accent of some color tending to lead towards blue. So there you go. That's my goal. Um, one more look and then I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this journey. Uh, it has been so great to read every single one of your comments. Um, I say this often enough, but like the real, pe not real people in my life, but the people I've known forever, like, you know, they're like, oh, hey, congratulations. Um, and then there's you guys who are practically in tears with me. You know, it's just, um, I, there's something about uh, my YouTube subscribers that just touches me every day. So thank you for being part of this journey. But look at the light coming out. Wait, oh, look at the light coming in here. It's so pretty. Oh, all right, so I'm off. I'm gonna go to Ikea, hopefully to buy some chairs at least. Uh, and I'll, I'll fill you in every few days and as uh, the place kind of comes together. The cats, I know some of you are wondering when the cats are moving in. Um, I have a trip that starts on the 6th, the morning of the 6th. I get back the, e, the morning of the 29th. Uh, and then the cats are coming over, hopefully, on the 29th. I'm off for three days uh, th three and a half days. So I figure that will be enough time, hopefully, so that they'll be acclimated to this space with me here rather than just dumping them here for, you know, three days and hoping that they accept the new place. But I also have to find places to put kitty litter boxes that aren't in the middle of the room, uh, like in my studio. But blah, 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 blah. I keep talking. I told you I was going to let you go. Thank you again for joining me on this journey, and I will see you probably in a couple of days. All right. Bye. Have a great day. Fly safe.